everybody this is Sherry with CPR craft pray repeat and I'm here today with my video for cottage cuts for the happy Easter hop and I'm going to start by showing you uh, the dies that I used but before I do that I just need to give you um, a few of the rules first being that to be eligible to win any of the prizes you have to subscribe to all of the channels and comment on every video. Cottage Cuts has a video up on Friday and Saturday. Of course you can only subscribe once but leave a comment on both videos to be eligible. The owner of the Scrap and Cottage, Joanne, is a very sweet lady and very supportive of our hops and she is donating two, two $25 gift certificates for um, two lucky winners so make sure that your subscriptions are visible because we go through and I check everything the hop starts on the 16th and 17th it closes on March 23rd then the winning videos will be up on March 30th so on March 30th we'll all have our videos up at the same time and you guys will be able to see who all of the wonderful winners were and all of the great prizes that they won. So I'm going to start by showing you what I use for my projects. The first being the Spring Hot Air Balloon. I used him. Let me zoom you in here a little bit. I don't want to go too far because then I forget. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. I used the Nested Stitch Doily Set. I used the Fancy Pocket Plus and this does hold a gift card and this I know sounds crazy I use the Christmas Flamingo and I use that little bow right there I wanted that bow for my one of my projects and then I use the Stitch Sun clouds and umbrella and I use the clouds right here so I'm going to start by I'm going to leave out the the die that I used which is the spring hot air balloon and I'm going to start by showing you the ways that I was able to make several different projects from this one die and the first thing I made are some tiny little tags that you could put on your Easter baskets you could um, you know put the tag on some happy mail you could also use the stitched alphabet set and put the initial like for Sherry you would put an S and then I would know that's my basket so I really thought it was cute I loved how it worked and they open up on the inside so they're super easy to do you can write the name to and from in here on the outside on these ones you would probably want to do it on the inside but it was just super easy and all it took was um, a little my piercing tool to poke a hole and then just some twine to run through and it will hang on your baskets so that's the first thing I did and I'm just gonna kinda of scoot these over to the side this thing is not staying up the way I want so I'm hoping I can avoid the glare the next one is this three and a half by three and a half inch card I had done this part and I messed up up here I don't I got something on it and I couldn't get it off and I was like all upset with myself and I was like I hated throwing it away because I thought the bunny and all this was so cute so I took and I cut that center string and got rid of it and I got rid of this part up here at the top and then I just kind of folded those strings around and made myself a handle put the bunny in and I added some of the eggs from the Mr. Peter Rabbit die and put the eggs in the grass here and now I've got a really sweet one there's the the bow that I wanted so you can see the bow how pretty and um, and now I've got a really sweet three and a half by three and a half inch note card to go in one of my Happy Mail boxes. I didn't realize how much I was needing some cards like these until recently when I was sending out some Happy Mail and realized that all I was sticking in the box was a post-it note. <laughs> so I was like, Sherry, 
you're a card maker, you're a crafter, you know, slap to it, girl, smack to it here, and, you know, pick up the pace and do it right, you're an embarrassment to crafters everywhere, <laughs> so here's my three and a half by three and a half inch card, and then here's my last project, which is a, just a tag, I cut it out, I believe it's four by six, or, yeah, I believe it was four by six, and then I just trimmed the edges right here, I used a punch to put some border across it here, here are the stitched clouds, here is the entire uh, bunny and the balloon and everything there that's exactly how it is on the picture, so I just wanted to try to make one exactly and then show you other ways that you could use it besides just for that one. And you wouldn't have to necessarily, if you want to do a basket with flowers, you could still use this basket for Mother's Day with a basket with flowers in it. So it would still be really cool. And I just put him on an action wobble here so he would move, he was being blown by the wind. And on the back is the Fancy Pocket Plus. And because the tag was vertical, I went ahead and put the pocket vertical, but I actually could have turned it this way if I wanted to and slid the card in from the side. And a gift card will fit in here. So this would be a really neat way just to send a, a, a note to a friend that says, I love you, I was thinking about you. You can write up here or you can slip a note in here with the gift card. So I thought that worked out really well. So these are the projects, the three projects that I made, mainly using this one die. So there's lots of things you can do. Do not let yourself be limited just by the picture. Think outside of the box, guys. We are crafters. We can do anything if we put our minds to it. All right, everybody. Remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. I will put the links for everybody on the hop in the description box. I've already told you that you need to comment and subscribe to every channel and that the winning videos will go up on March 30th. So come back and be on the lookout because you never know. You could be one of our amazing winners. All right, guys. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. I love you all. Bye.